Hello again, and welcome to part two of the most amazing cash stuffing ever. So we left off at the bottom of the Eiffel Tower, and in order to get up to the top of the Eiffel Tower, you actually have to go into this little, I won't say that this is an escalator, it was some kind of like pulley tram thingy. Um, it just lifts you up like old fashioned way with a, like a like a heavy weight thingy. I don't know how to explain it guys. It was quite the thing to see. Um, obviously it was made part of, I was trying to conceal my camera. I don't know, I, I think a few people noticed that my uh, camera was on. It's okay for you to film in public here, so it wasn't a big deal. I just didn't want it to be so conspicuous or whatever. So we're all kind of waiting in line to get onto this thing because it's manual. So it takes a while to go up and then come back down. And then finally it started to move and I was just so fascinated by it. We're all crammed into this little thing and we're all looking around, kind of taking in the moment that we finally get to be on the Eiffel Tower, which is possibly everyone's kind of bucket list. So I was so excited to to just be here so much fun guys so we finally got up to the top i don't know if anyone's scared trigger warning if you're afraid of heights like don't don't look at that part just now it oh it was so terrifying i didn't i didn't want to look down but there is a restaurant madame brazieri i think it's called that's midway at the uh, at the eiffel tower and we decided to book uh lunch there um it was about i think it's like 60 to 70 euros per person so it was a three course meal. The first part was an appetizer. This is the main. And then this is what the dessert looked like. Absolutely delicious. So we came back down and I decided, you know what? I'm gonna cash off here. And this is the number three that I got. Okay, was that not exciting or what? Like even just watching the videos whilst I'm inserting them into this video was just amazing. I so love it there. The gelato, oh my gosh, like, I could use a gelato right now. Anyway, let's get back to the cash stuffing. I know you may, somebody might be telling themselves, oh my gosh, this girl talks so much. Can you just get to the cash envelope stuffing? Can you just focus on the cash stuffing? I get you, I get you, I understand. It's just my personality. My personality is a really talkative personality. Okay, so where do we left off? So, um, we have 10 euros left over from Tenor Tuesday. Usually I would take that extra and I would put it into this here, but I'm gonna actually be going through this entire challenge here using the money that I have here for my Fiverr Friday and my Tenor Tuesday for the final week of August. So I'm gonna leave this here in case I end up going over because I don't wanna do an IOU closing out the month of August. So technically this is now my last cash stuffing for five or Friday, which is today, Friday, and for Tenor Tuesday, which is next week, Tuesday, which is the last Tenor Tuesday for this month. So we're gonna leave this since we already put 16 in here um, from Paris. All right, so we are gonna kickstart uh, five or Friday with jackpot dice. Oh, she's a little tight in there, and the ink is rubbing onto the thing I'm again. Okay, jackpot dies. This is very, very low budget friendly. All you're gonna do is kind of see and spin your luck and see uh, what combination you get. I did do a tutorial on how to play this. So it's like a slot machine and based on the numbers, the, the symbols, based on the dice, you get certain symbols. Um, three sevens, you save 20 euros. Three bells, you save 10 euros. Three bars, you save five euros. Two cherries and a joker you're gonna save four uh, two lemons and a joker you're gonna save three and for all other combinations you're just gonna save one if you get three jokers by some stroke of luck you save whatever amount you want that's it all right I hope I got that right so now for our fourth slot let us see oh sorry this is for five or Friday so I need to bring in the money for five or Friday over here so this is just extra ten or Tuesday I'm gonna put my calculator to the side for the minute. And so this is what we're working with in terms of five or Friday. So that's two and four. And that's five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So we'll have 34 for five or Friday, which is still good. Okay, so now let's roll our dice and see what our jackpot, what our slot machine is. Okay, we got a one, two, and a three. 
cherry, a bar, and a bell. That's no combination that gives us a specific amount. So again, for this slot machine, we just get to save one euro. And we're gonna close this slot machine. This was not our lucky slot machine for today, unfortunately. And we're just gonna grab, do I have one euros? I don't have one euro. I don't have one euro. Hmm. Does any of the other envelopes have two one euros? Maybe I could swap it out for a two euro. That's two euros, a one euro in there. I thought I had enough one euros made. Clearly I didn't. Sorry guys, excuse me one minute as I try to find a spare one euro. What am I doing? There's one euro literally stand staring in my face right here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a five and we're just gonna break this down because this one, two, and a two. And we're just gonna break that down in here so we can get that one euro. I think that's my last one euro. Um, I might have to make some more. So this five is gonna go to the back of the book. And we're gonna take the one euro that we just added and we're just gonna put it into here, all right? Is it this one? Yes, it's this one. Bear with me, guys. We're getting there. Okay, so I believe she should be dry. I love this marker pen from Shein. Honestly, I and speaking of Shein, I, I, I made another order, guys. Um, I don't know who needs to hear this, but those envelopes are back in stock. The clear and the frosted strong envelopes, not these flimsy ones here that can tear from the side. The strong ones, they're back in stock. They were in the Shein haul. I put the links in the Shein haul. Check the Shein haul video, guys. The back in stock guys, grab them. I ordered, I think 30. I think I ordered 30. Moving right along, guys. Let's move on over to our Thanksgiving challenge. Thanksgiving savings challenge. And for this one, we don't have quite a lot uh we are just gonna do you know what if we're playing the whole book why don't we just add everything in should we not try to add everything in maybe not uh i'm just gonna do one dice uh we can always just come back again and finish it off so for thanksgiving we're gonna be saving four. So a two and another two. All right, Thanksgiving has four. There we go. Let's add this to our Thanksgiving, which is right around the corner. September is next week. So the September, October, November, so three months. I have three months to save for my Thanksgiving party. I love parties, my kids love parties. I love cooking. I love making little fancy meals for my kids. So this is what this money is going to be for. Um, all right, moving along. Halloween. Um, okay, so for Halloween, we're going to roll the dice once more again. And let's see what we get. Oh my goodness, one. Uh, I'm going to roll again because it doesn't make any sense. One and five. Okay. Do I have a one? I don't have a one. I need to put in six. So if I need to put in six, I need to put in six and I don't have any more ones. So this is seven. This is seven. Doesn't have any change in it. Nope. Wait, what does that have? Mm, no, that doesn't have it either. Sorry, guys. Like, 
somebody has to have two ones in there. Nope, that doesn't have two ones. Um, one. Oh, yeah, great. Found it. Okay, so this has two ones in there. So I can take this two euros and I can put it in there and swap it out. Okay, so now I have the extra euro that I need to put in for uh, Halloween. So we're just going to add six to this which I'm happy about. And we're gonna take the six and we're gonna put the six inside there. Um, I'll organize this a little bit better. Most likely next week when we do our little uh, budget with me. Did I smudge this just now? How did I smudge it? It wasn't dry. I don't know what happened. Anyway, that is Halloween done, guys. Um, I, love, I love Halloween as well. Um, trick-or-treating with the kids is just so much fun and we just do it for the candy really all right roll the dice how are we looking so this is tenor tuesday money so this is what we have left for five or friday one two that's three five so we have 23 left so far for five or friday all right let's roll the dice um this challenge is from cute budgets all of the other challenges are from Income Babes, which is my Etsy store. You can definitely check uh, them out if you're interested. So for roll the dice, you need two dices. One dice is going to represent the column and one dice is going to represent the row. So column, row. Two and five. Two and five. Two and five. That gives me six. So I'm going to take out that and we're going to add six to this bill. So five and the last one that's gonna go inside here. Let's see if we have a one in here. We do have a one, so I can put this one back actually. I can put these two ones back and I can add in this two in case I need a breakdown. So we have two twos inside there. Get you in there. If you're still here, I do appreciate you. Thank you so much for sticking it out and just kind of, you know, watching me cash stuff and share my little story. I love vacation. Oh, takes me back to Paris. Actually, since we're on this saving challenge, why not add in another clip from Paris right here? Hey there, welcome back. So here we are back in Paris again after that lovely lunch or brunch at the eiffel tower it was now time to move on to our next destination and this is the louvre museum this is quite possibly one of the top 10 places to visit whilst you are in paris and allegedly it takes i don't know uh, it says it takes almost 200 days to see everything that's in this museum i think so we were just it's such a huge museum it was quite overwhelming it is absolutely stunning and it's a must-see the only thing i really wanted to see at the louvre museum is a picture of the mona lisa and apparently everyone else wanted to see it as well so as you can see there's a sea of iphones and cameras everywhere and there was tight security here as well i don't know if anyone ever watched oceans 11 or any of those like big robbery kind of movies this is what everyone is trying to steal. This stunning tiny little photo on the wall there. And she is absolutely beautiful. I was able to kind of sneak my way up closer to get a better uh, shot of the oh, Mona Lisa, but I just wanted to take in some of the other photos in the room. And there she is. And there she is under tight security, guys. Um, the only other time that I've seen this was in movies, okay? So I went on to explore some more of the museum there. These are the crown jewels and just a little side note inside there were so hot There's these little vents in the floor that blow cold air And so we were pretending to look at these little stones here so that we could stand on the vents um, After a while I decided I'm gonna go cash stuffing and here is the number three Okay, I think I've shared so much about Paris now. I feel like you have you have an understanding of how amazing Paris was and if you need any help planning a trip to Paris contact gb at incababes.com <laughs> no it's like seriously send me a message like I'm I'm happy to I would I might even go with you who knows we can go together we can be budget besties in Paris I'm gonna do an annual budget bestie trip 
anyone interested anyone down let's go all right so i love vacation savings challenge for this one how much money do we have left one two we have 17 left um i i need i need to put a little bit more into vacation so i'm gonna actually roll the dice here three i don't even have three i don't have three i'm gonna roll again i'm oopsie sorry about that guys um i don't have i'm gonna roll one more dice again to see how much we bring it up to three and two great five so i get to put in five so that worked out for me five goes into i love it vacation savings challenge this actually is going to be a really uh, a big priority for me um moving forward in the rest of for the rest of my life really um it just it's amazing to see different cultures and experience um different countries it it it, it gives a you know it gives a perspective on life and just seeing someplace new can be very energizing, re-energizing as well. I love vacation. Okay, Christmas savings challenge. Um, so we're down to the last little bit of cash here. So we're just going to do one dice um, for Christmas savings challenge. So let's see how much money we have. Okay, six. Good job on that one. Six is going to go into Christmas, which is right around the corner. Again, this is going to be another uh, big priority for me. I love shopping for Christmas presents. I love Christmas. I love planning parties for Christmas. Oh, it's the most wonderful time of the year. Besides birthdays, absolutely amazing time. And you can never start shopping so early. I just can't wait to pull out some new decorations and the Christmas tree lighting up. Oh my gosh. Does anyone else, I don't know if this is just an Irish tradition, but I've seen Christmas trees being put up from like the beginning of November. And I, you know, back in the Caribbean, we don't put up our Christmas tree until possibly like the week before Christmas, or I don't know, like, uh, or usually the 1st of December, because you know, it's come down to Christmas. So does anyone else put the Christmas, up, Christmas tree up in November or even October? Like I feel like once Halloween is done, it's Christmas. Like all the decorations disappear overnight. Anyway. Let's move on to I love birthdays and we're down to the last six six euros for five or Friday so we'll see if birthday is actually going to take that last little bit September is both my husband and myself we both have birthdays in September we are both Virgos um, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing he's a quiet Virgo I'm a very loud and talkative Virgo you probably already noticed that so let's go ahead and see one so I'm gonna roll again and four so that actually takes us to five euros goes uh into birthdays which is fine and so our our, our personalities are opposite and um, so they really they complement and sometimes they can challenge uh each other i sm i totally smudged that just now why did i do that i don't know that's what happens when you start talking too much yeah so he's like a very quiet but analytical Virgo and I'm very spontaneous and I'm loud and um, you know I'm very social he's not as social as I am what you kind of expect from men anyway all right so we're down to one euro left so thankfully I can actually put this into this mini savings challenge here and this one is from Golden Girls budget so we were actually able to cash stuff quite a bit of savings challenges for the budget for five or Friday. Now, if this, obviously I had extra cash, so I possibly would not have made it this far had I not had the extra cash, but that is fine. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, I think that is dry. Otherwise I'm gonna mess up my envelopes and that's perfectly fine. Okay, so now we're moving into the last little bit of the cash stuffing for the entire month of August. And I think I'm gonna add in this 10 euros to this uh, tenor, this tenor Tuesday. This would have technically been next week Tuesday, which I think is the 29th maybe. So that would have been the last tenor Tuesday. So I have my dices here and I'm my little man if we make it that far. And uh, we're just gonna close out uh, with this last little bit. But before I actually finish off this video with this final cash stuffing for the month of August, if we can get through all of them, um, here's my final clip of Paris uh, that I think you are definitely going to enjoy and I just want to close it out um, close out Paris vacation uh, with a little clip.
So after walking around in the hot museum, we decided to do something a little bit more cooler and we decided to take a boat ride on the river in Paris. So we were able to kind of see the Eiffel Tower once more again from a different angle, which is really nice. We were able to take a few more pictures that we probably wouldn't have been able to take because we were so close to it. Um, and shortly thereafter the boat, we decided to explore some of the area and we ended up going to a little high-end mall, um, which had some designer stores. We also decided to grab a little bite, so we had some uh, lunch or slash dinner, and then we went back to the hotel and I did my final cash shopping from the dices that we rolled earlier today. So if you want to see part three, definitely stay tuned. <laughs>